how are you doing today? Hope you're feeling fabulous, okay? Getting close to the holidays, we've got to remember, we gotta keep our shape, we gotta keep our form. As a result, I'm gonna give you a killer upper body total sculpting workout, okay? It's only gonna be four minutes long, but first I'm gonna tell you who sponsored these pants that I'm wearing, okay? And it is a company called Aerotech Designs, and it is an awesome cycle company, a bike work company, anything you need to go out and cycle and have your best cycle ride, that's where these pants are from, okay? They're made in the US, they have tight compression um, around the legs, so obviously, you know, it'll help reduce muscle soreness. Everybody knows I'm really, really big into compression. It does work, promise, okay? Um, again, and they are very fashionable, as you can see. If you've um, done my other videos wearing these pants, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The material that they're made out of, guys, is very top quality. You're not gonna have to worry about your pants shaping, you know, you riding and your glutes being sore, your inner thighs being sore, why? Because one, these have the option, guys, to come with padding or unpadding, okay? I'm just gonna work out in these today. As a result, I do not have the padding, okay? And everybody knows when you're riding on that cycle seat, from time to time, those inner thighs can get very, very sore from the legs constantly moving back and forth, okay? We do not want that, okay? As a result, they're made out of good quality. That permits that, which is awesome. So make sure that you guys are checking them out. At the end of the video, I have all their links so that you can follow them, and their website is in the description box below. All right, today, four minute workout. All you're gonna need is a dumbbell, okay? You can use between 2.5 up to 10 females, lady, uh, males, that's up to you guys. And then in terms of this ball, I'm gonna be using the um, ballast ball to get fit today. We're gonna to be also using this for our core and the dumbbell for our total body. So go ahead and warm up and let's get started. So exercise number one is a bit tough. It's uh, definitely advanced, but I'll give you the variation for beginners. You're gonna be pretty much doing a plank and kind of sliding that dumbbell forward um, in order to keep a lot of muscles working all at the same time. So everybody knows a plank is here, okay? Your hands are under your shoulders. Your butt is not up here. You really have to emphasize engaging the core, keeping that butt low in line with your body and your leg, okay? Your butt should never be higher than your neck and your uh, in your head, okay? So here, we're simply in a plank, but with this exercise, we're gonna go ahead and place this dumbbell right under us, just like this. We're gonna be sliding this dumbbell forward, touching the ground, sliding it back, okay? Just like this for the interval set, okay? Again, I know it looks super easy, but as you continue to go, you might notice your shoulders getting a little tight, and you might notice probably your wrist, okay? So if you don't have strong wrist, this exercise will help, okay? So in addition to that, you're gonna do your right arm and also your left. Really squeeze your core. If you don't know what that means, think about uh, maybe going number two, not to be super graphic, okay? Or you're going down a roller coaster and you're tensing up, and the more you tense up, guys, is how you get shredded, okay? That's exercise number one and two. Then we're going to progress to the, um, to the ballast ball. We're gonna be doing a funky, funky crunch, okay? That's really gonna engage this lower abdominal area, the problem area for most of us. So here, we're simply gonna kinda of position the ball between our feet, right? And we're going to roll down with the ball. We're gonna do a slight lift with our lower body. We're gonna put the ball back and we're gonna be rolling up and you can use your hands at the top of the roll. So it's gonna look like this. You're going down, you're lifting up, you're dropping the ball and you're coming up. So this coming up is really working the legs and you rolling down, engaging that ball, doing this small lift, you're working your lower abdominals. One more time, you're here, you've got the ball, you're lifting, you're putting it back down and you're coming up, okay? That's gonna be the third exercise. The fourth exercise, we're gonna be doing some really dynamic push-ups, okay? Super fun. If you had a mat here, you would want to um, make your um, push-up jumps, right? Go in the middle and then on the outside of the mat. I don't have a mat right now because I'm using carpet, but if you're using a gym and want to use a mat, feel free to let that be your gauge. Here, you're, you're pushing up uh, with your hands, tricep position under your shoulders, okay? But they're kind of close in. They're not gonna be really, really out wide. So here, they're kind of close together and you're gonna jump apart and do your push-up and then you're gonna jump close together, feet and your hands, to do your second push-up. So real time, you're pushing up just like this, okay? And 
and that is very tough. Your variation is simply obviously to leave out the push up and leave out the jump, okay? So I just want you to stand here and then step out. And then step in and step out. And if you can do a small push up and step in and small push up, that works as well. Those are our four exercises. We're really gonna get warmed up. I hope you did the warm up video, guys. Very important. And let's get started. Very, very nice pants, guys. They feel amazing. You gotta check it out. 
Link in the description box below. Follow them, subscribe, like this video. See you later. Bye.